Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to look at the question, you know, is Season of Mastery the WoW Fresh that you actually wanted? You know, Blizzard has made a bunch of changes to WoW Classic, giving us this new, fresh experience. I want to compare Asmongold's WoW Fresh wish list to the changes that Blizzard announced. Assuming there's no more changes, this is what we asked for, or, you know, Asmongold, his community, the WoW community, all of us generally, you know, we're kind of agreeing some of these common themes, and then what we actually got, and then come to the conclusion at the end, you know, is this what we really wanted? Is this what you wanted? So, number one we have on this wish list, we got no mage boosting, alternately buff all other experience by 3x at least. So, we did not get 3x, that's for sure. Uh, we got the 40% quest experience, we got the 7% extra for group and dungeon quests. Mage boosting is gone, so we did get that. Um, all boosting is gone. As you all know, in the Season of Mastery, if you're grouped with someone who kills a mob, which is gray to them, you're all going to get that very, very reduced experience. So all boosting is just not going to work in Season of Mastery. So, you know, one for one so far, Blizzard made some changes that we can all kind of get behind. More character customization. We did not get this. There was no <laughs> slider uh, for uh, enhancing characters' body parts. We didn't get that. Um, new raids, we did not get, unfortunately. This was one of mine that I really wanted, a, a new raid. Um, that would have been awesome. You know, I, I really wanted the Scarlet Citadel. I thought that would have been awesome. I think everyone can agree that like a new raid would be cool. The closest thing we got to a new raid was enhanced fights so far in Molten Core and Anixia. To be seen if they enhance the, the future phases, I would imagine so. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of just the same thing again. Why play past phase one as a raider if it's just the same exact experience minus world buffs, but... To be seen, so far only Molten Core and Anixia have that increased difficulty with uh, the new mechanics uh, being a little bit different. So that actually brings us to the next point, which is harder fights on older content, more mechanics, which we just talked about, that was added. No world buffs and raids, that was word for word, Blizzard has implemented that change. World buffs still exist in the game, you can still use that for, to your advantage for leveling, but you can't bring them into raids. You can bring them into dungeons, just not raids. Now, the next one, no debuff limit at all. Of course, you all know that all the you know, there is no debuff limit. All classes can use all their debuffs, Serpent Sting, Curse of Agony, whatever you want. Throw it on the, the, the boss, uh, which is nice. We also wanted rebalancing of classes, especially Rhett, Moonkin, and Prot Paladin. Uh, we did not see that at all. There was no rebalancing. Blizzard actually specifically said that they were not going to do any type of class rebalancing. I think this is hard to do. I think it's hard to rebalance classes. I would have liked to see just a few minor tweaks, you know, to make them more viable. Like, you know, I think if you play some of these classes, you know that, like, mana is, like, a big issue for a lot of them, you know? I can actually, all three of that, the ones that we mentioned, the Moonkin, the Prop Paladin, the Rat Paladin, we all know that they suffer from mana issues, and if you brought some of the TBC mechanics, that might be just exactly what players needed in vanilla. Just give them those talents, you know, the Prop Paladin getting mana back when getting healed, Moonkin, you know, whatever. I don't actually play Moonkin, <laughs> so never played Moonkin in my life. Um, I feel bad for Druids. I, I, I feel like I always leave them out and everything. Um, and then Rhett Paladins, of course, getting that mana back when you judge. Um, those things were all mechanics to help with those mana issues. Okay, so, so, so you know, Blizzard is kind of like, I don't know, 5 out of 10 so far. They're, it's kind of like 50%. It's kind of a failing grade uh, so far. But you know what? Let's continue. Let's see what else. Arena, there was no arena. There were no rated battlegrounds, of course. But we're getting battlegrounds starting from phase one, which is kind of cool. No respect cost. We actually didn't, not only did we not get any respect cost, we also did not get dual spec. I also surveyed, um, you know, the audience on YouTube. And generally speaking, it seems like we did want dual spec implemented. Uh, we also did want uh, meme specs, right, to be a little bit better, but we did not get that. We also here it says no honor system slash rank 14 grind. This was actually looked at by Blizzard. They made the rank 14 grind twice as fast. So um, I don't know. Personally, me, I like that because I did feel like the honor gear was a little inaccessible uh, unless you really played a lot. You know, your chances of getting that full rank 14 gear, I felt like were slim to be seen how much that actually helps making it twice as fast. There's so many variables with reaching rank 14, the population of your server, how many people of those people are PVPing, all of that goes into determining, you know, the rank 14 grind. So to be seen uh, if it's easier or not, honestly, for people, see if more people can get it. Guild banks, 
Uh, no word from Blizzard on that. Of course, we played the beta. They did not exist, so that was not added. Now, you know, just kind of glancing through this, since I don't want to go through every single possible change, we know that Blizzard did not give us everything we wanted. I think one of the big ones, the biggest one, is bots. You know, I surveyed you all, and you said bots is pretty much number one. The closest thing Blizzard could do to solve bots was to nerf a BRD pickpocket farming farm method. So... I don't think that this was actually like the perfect approach. Um, I was excited about it at the time because it felt like, you know, maybe this is uh, trying to deter bots. But really, you know, at the end of the day, I think, you know, the, the the byproduct of this is the people who wanted to do that farm legitimately can no longer do that farm. Rogues are going to be super popular in Classic because they're a great class in Classic. But um, I don't think it was the right solution. I kind of talked about this in that pickpocket video, but... We talked about how I think a big subscriber base for Blizzard is actually the bots. This is a, I really hope this isn't true because then it's sort of like they're financially incentivized to leave the bots alone because they are a large portion of the subscriber base. Um, I don't know if this is true or not. Uh, I don't have any data. Um, I think, you know, there, there is some, you know, evidence that this might be true because like the amount of players is down yet subscriber numbers are holding steady, which would suggest more players have more than one active WoW account, which would hint at potentially, you know, bots. People are having multiple accounts running bots on them. So um, that is, uh, of course, uh, a potential reason why Blizzard did not tackle botting, but it's the number one thing the community actually wants tackled, according to the survey uh, that we ran. There's other things that, of course, um, were, on, were not uh, added, such as rebalancing of racials, which would also help with faction balance, which, again, there was really nothing done there. Um, we're seeing a lot of things, uh, a lot of the, ser the Discord servers trend towards alliance favored uh, so far. Um, you know, one of the things here, force max of 55-45 split for PvP servers. It's not quite that. I'm seeing, you know, 50, or sorry, 40-60 splits. There are definitely, on the European servers, actually, it's pretty well balanced. We're seeing some nice PvP server splits. But it looks like... Alliance is pretty favored in most cases, but there's about four or five servers based on Discord numbers. Who's to you know who's to say what the actual server populations will be? But overall, it seems um, to be a little bit more Alliance favored. Hopefully, we don't see what we saw previously, where you know server transfers happen and a server just tips one faction all the way and the server eff effectively kind of dies uh, for World PvP. Now, you know of all the changes that you know were hap happening here, you know I felt like Blizzard kind of generally speaking, just tried to nerf or remove a lot of exploits. I felt like that was kind of a main theme, you know, with the boosting removal, the, the Zulfarok zombie farm being nerfed quite severely, the mage uh, Maradon AoE boosting slash farming essentially removed, um, that BRD pickpocket farm removed. I don't know if that was really like an exploit. I think that was more targeting bots, like I said. But ultimately, you know, we, we kind of just saw some other stuff that the community, I feel, I felt like generally didn't like um, not being in classic. So like same faction battlegrounds, I think, are generally not uh, something people like. They Like this is sort of a band-aid for poor faction balance. Um, again, there was really no word on tackling bots and botting. Uh, no dual spec. That was something that we really wanted. So overall, you know, with all of these changes taken into consideration, uh, I want, you know, to know from you. Is Season of Mastery the Wild Fresh you wanted? Did they make the changes that you wanted that were most important to you? Are you going to play Season of Mastery? You know, the fresh experience. Do you like the launch experience? All these questions. What would you want Blizzard to do next? This is the first season of potentially many seasons. So is Blizzard heading in the right direction making these changes? I don't know. Personally, I think it's better than nothing. I think hashtag changes is a good thing. I think the original game did have exploits and I think, you know, it's been discovered. It's been optimized. We've got to add new content to keep it fresh. Particularly, I'd love a new raid, but of course that might just be wishful thinking. Let me know in the comments below.